In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the flat overhand bend or the European death knot as it's called. This knot is great for attaching two lines with both running ends together to extend a rope that's still easy to take apart. All you do is take the running end, loop it around, tie it through here, and pass it through, and that is literally it. It is simply an overhand knot that is tied with both ends together. Now, the point of this knot is to attach two lines that you're going to extend a rope with, so if you need to do a rappel or something. However, you see with this 11 millimeter rope, or maybe it's a 10.5, I can't remember, as I tighten this together, and when the rope pulls, the knot generally won't capsize, however it can slip slightly. So this six to eight inches of rope is totally inadequate. If you truly need to extend a rope without the inconvenience of the double fisherman's bend, you're going to need a lot more tail than this. Really, you want 12 to 18 inches. So this 18 inches here, if you're going to extend a rappel line, you want something really long, so simply loop this over, and I don't have the other end of the rope, obviously. And then loop it through here, and there you go. Flatten it out, of course, because it can turn into a bundle of mess. And make sure to do what's called dressing the knot. Make sure it's flat, nice and snug, and tightened together. There you go. <clears throat> now you can actually extend your rappel line, attach these two guys, and this knot will not capsize. As you can see, this is super, super long. This particular knot is referred to in my book, The Most Crucial Knots to Know. This flat overhand bend is super, super useful if you need to rappel and you need to attach two ropes. Now compare that to the double fisherman's bend where you attach two lines or two ropes together end to end, it's a totally different experience. The double or even triple fisherman's bend is the most reliable way to attach two ropes running opposite compared to the flat overhand bend. The big, big downfall of the double fisherman's bend is it is, well, there's actually three. It's difficult to tie, it takes effort, it's very difficult to inspect that it is tied correctly. And once that double fisherman's knot is loaded, it is wicked hard, for because I'm from the East Coast, to get that knot undone. The double or the flat overhand bend or the European death knot is super easy to tie, super easy to inspect, and it works incredibly well as long as you have double tails and nice long tails. Honestly, I would add another double knot on here. So you've got two, so when you extend your lines, not only do you have this knot taking the load, but you've got a security knot just in case things start slipping. It won't, but always be careful. Never, never, never use the flat overhand figure eight to extend a rope when you have both tails together. It will capsize, you will fall, you will die. Not kind of maybe, but this has happened to multiple climbers, so I'm not even gonna show you the flat overhand bin. Just don't, don't use it. When you tie the opposing double eight or the figure eight, it totally works, but just remember, I'm gonna only teach you what you should do in the field with this one. The flat overhand bend will allow you to extend a rope, add that extra safety knot, and it flows over objects a lot, lot easier. Hopefully this has been helpful. One of the simplest knots to do to extend a rope. It doesn't look very inspirational, but this knot will not capsize under any reasonable load. This knot is featured in my book, The Most Crucial Knots to Know. You can see here the flat overhead bend. There you go. Illustrations are very clear and easy to follow. And most importantly, the discussion here 
on when to use this and when not to use this. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional explorer air adventurer, whatever I am. <laughs> Please check out links in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, 50, 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots, the most crucial nuts to know, and my 2024 total eclipse guides, as well as my show Antarctic Tears in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you get more info like this.